Hi, my name is Alex with Day Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm on a mission. I am here to answer a very important question for you. And this question is, should I upgrade to Jira Premium? Is it worth paying double the price for Jira Premium? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like if you get any value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Before we can answer that question, I want to take you over to the Jira pricing page and I want you to look, I want you to see that there is basically a doubled price difference between being on standard and being on premium. So what exactly do you get for twice the money? Because keep in mind that Jira you charges by the user, not by the person using the features. So maybe you have like two or three people that are going to use a premium level feature, but you have a hundred people in your instance you're going to pay for all 100 people. So you're gonna 2X your bill. So is it worth doubling your bill? Okay, and so there's actually three main features that I wanna highlight that to me, in my opinion, make it worth it. However, I want you to just have this information. I want you to, I'm not telling you to go on double your price, but I, if I was in your position, this is the reasons why I opt in for premium because of these specific three features so let's talk about them okay and so we're going to come down here and we're going to highlight them here so you can actually see and, and, and confirm fact check me if you will right so the first one is for the automation when you look at this automation root line here you will see that the difference between standard and premium is that in standard you're restricted to single project only versus premium you are, are you can do it for multi-projects or global what does this mean though so this basically means that when you create an automation rule, which we have a video that we covered last week where we do that kind of thing, and you have an option to make that rule restricted to only that one project, or if you're on premium, you can make it global and or, or multi-project. And you may be asking yourself, well, what's the benefit in that? Well, it's time, right? Time and money is always what it comes down to. And is if you have a rule that closes the epic whenever the user stories are closed and you apply it to one project, Great, thumbs up. If you have 50 projects, you're probably gonna want that same behavior. So if you're on standard, your admin is gonna have to go in there and create that rule 49 more times. Make a bunch of copies, go back in, change the settings, and point it to the right project. Or if you're on premium, all they gotta do is toggle that global permission and now every single one of your projects is gonna be, have, be able to benefit from having that automation rule. So that's the question you wanna ask yourself. If you're a big heavy user of automation rules, then probably being on premium for that functionality is gonna be something worth it. Next, this one's kind of a hard one to see because they don't really highlight this, but this is really, really valuable. And I'm actually gonna click on roadmap to show you this one. But when you are on the basic or standard version of Jira, you get a basic roadmap. It is super basic. You're restricted to just the epics and the stories and most recently, you at least get to see the timeline now for your sprints and your releases, but this is ongoing before you didn't used to be able to do that. But if you bump up double the price for your premium version of Jira, you get what's called an advanced roadmap. And this image is showing you an advanced roadmap. And let me tell you that the advanced roadmap is worth its weight in gold. The advanced roadmap, if you're a company that wants to see a holistic view of what all your teams are doing, you're able to pull in different projects. You're able to build dependencies across different projects. You're able to visualize your entire hierarchy of all the issue types and everything that your teams are working on. It is a very, very powerful feature. And I've actually made a live stream where I covered this in detail for about an hour. And so you're gonna wanna make sure you go check out that video. But this right here, the advanced roadmaps capability, this single-handedly is the reason why I double the price. Now, because I'm not sponsored by Atlassian and not sponsored by this team either, but there are other plugins that actually allow you to do this one, right? So Big Picture is one of them, and Easy Agile also has another one that basically lets you see this roadmap. Those functionalities might be a little bit cheaper, and so you might want to consider not ponying up double the price, but go and check and see what Big Picture or Easy Agile uh, is going to run you. But there are ways to get roadmaps, so if all you want is a roadmap capability, there is a way for you to go and get like a plugin that will give you the similar behavior without 2x in your price, just as a disclaimer. 
And then the final thing, the final reason, and, and probably one of the most common reasons that I use it as an administrator, is we have this thing called a sandbox. And the sandbox is perfect for teams that are trying things out. If you're trying automation rules and you just don't want to mess up production, if you're trying new workflows, or maybe you have a new team, or maybe you just, maybe you have very strict change management in your JIRA and you don't want others to be able to just change things and you want to see proof. You want people to kind of walk through and work through the motions of figuring out how to do these changes. You can then actually just create a sandbox and copy all your production data to that sandbox or not, that's optional, and then let them go crazy and experiment in that sandbox. Again, that is something that is valuable to you. This is a premium only version. This right here though, I use pretty religiously as well. I take, a, it's something that I use very, very often is being able to use this sandbox. And the final thing, this is kind of a new one, it's called Admin Insights. This is kind of cool. This one allows you to see a little bit more extra just a little pizzazz to your users and stuff like that. I don't really use it too much, but it's something that it's in here and it's a premium only version. I don't particularly use it, but it's something for you to consider. And I also don't use release tracks. I don't typically have my entire CI CD pipeline plugged into Jira, but if you have uh, that all plugged into your Jira, then release tracks might be something that you might want to consider. But at the end of the day though, come and check out this list. And it's, I'll put the link in the description here of this video and determine is it worth doubling your price for those couple of extra features that's pretty much it for this video if you got any value please consider dropping a like and if you haven't subscribed right now please consider subscribing it really does help the channel and if you have any questions comments or concerns i'd be more than happy to answer in the comment section below so let me know down below thanks and i'll see you in the next one